talking about whether it's acceptable for a woman to deliberately date a man for his money. So, so far, we've met one who says there's nothing wrong with sitting back and letting a man support her, even if she doesn't care about him. But what if a woman works hard but just wants to upgrade her lifestyle? Is that okay? Hmm. Is she allowed to pursue a man who uh, makes more money than her? Well, our next guest said absolutely. Please welcome the author of How to Marry Rich, Wendy Sutherland, also known as Tyrone Jackson. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Okay, so Thank let me you. get this straight. You wrote a book penned, uh, a pen, with a pen name, Wendy Sutherland. That's correct. As a, as a white woman. That's correct. Because you thought you'd be taken more seriously. No, I wrote it as a white woman so I'd sell and make some money at the oh, book. That's okay. actually what it is. <laughs> I mean, we do live in America and there's certain realities around that. Ricky, I, my company owns several internet websites and one of them is romanticmate.com, which is a dating site. Uh, I got the idea from writing the book because I know a lot of wealthy people and they all didn't marry other wealthy people as their partners. They did or did not? They did not. And what I realized in my research is there's actually a method that anyone in your audience could use as actually an approach to meeting wealthy people and to marrying them. So, okay, g give us some tips just, just off the top of your head. Okay. I mean, do you go to where the wealthy people relax and... Very, very, that's very good. Wealthy people like you, actually. There are people oh, like who... like me? No, no, no. <laughs> See, I don't consider myself, I, you know, I've been poor, I've been rich, I've been poor again. I mean, I, thank God I'm in a, a, a good state now. Sure. But I don't look at myself as these, these, these stockbrokers and all that. Sure, so well, the, well, the thing is, they're not all stockbrokers, but let's just talk and get a little clarity first. There's some ground rules for actually meeting wealthy people, and this is what a lot of people just don't realize. First, you have to meet wealthy people when their guard is down. That's extremely important. Wealthy people know that they're wealthy. They're used to people being attracted to them because they're wealthy. Second, you want to meet wealthy people with free and easy access, when you have free and easy access to them. So where would that be? Okay, so you want to go to charity events. There are certain lounges. You, or, need, you need green to get into the charity not, events. You do not. You need to be invited. And in How to Marry Rich, we talk about how to get invited to the black tie events that go on in every single major city. The only difference is, no one in your audience, no one has ever showed them how. It's not that you can't do it. Also, I want to make another point, because I know you're talking about the whole idea of using men for money. How to Marry Rich, the book I wrote, is not about using anybody for money. It's not about marrying for love or money. It's about marrying for love and, and money. money. Okay, all right. Well, you actually put your, your words to the test. You uh, met this young woman named Kiyosha. That's correct. Who was sick and tired of working at her department store job and seeing all these women paraded with her, their rich men, taking them on shopping sprees when she's just meeting deadbeat after deadbeat. That's so correct. So let's take a look and see uh, how you showed her how to meet a rich guy. Terrific. Okay, so here we are in the heart of Brooklyn. Hey, big ups to Brooklyn, right? But tonight, I think Kiyosha's Mr. Right is probably on the other side of the water. So let's go get her prepared. Hey, oh, I'm Tyrone. I've been waiting for you. Good, good. <laughs> you ready to attract somebody who has a high net worth, a really rich guy? Of course. Okay, so the first thing we gotta work on is your look. So we gotta get the wardrobe together. Okay. You wanna show me what you got? Okay, I've been waiting for you, oh good. my God. Hey, now I brought my assistant, Christine. She's a professional TV star. Hi, Hello. She's gonna help us through the process. Sound good? Oh, thank God. How about this? No. How about something a little bit more conservative? This is excellent. It's a little conservative. It's a little sexy. It's got a feeling of elegance. Let's get on to hair and makeup. When it comes to makeup, less is always more. I'm a sales associate at a, a major department store in Manhattan. I see these well-dressed women and their husbands sit down on the couch and just hands them the platinum card. I think it's my time to have that. So how do I look? Very good. Why would you be interested in attracting and ultimately connecting on a long-term basis with someone who's wealthy? Because I'm always attracting the people without money. Part of attracting a, a, a rich partner is feeling that you deserve it, okay? I want you to try a couple little different techniques tonight, some of them verbal, some of them nonverbal. I want you to always look at the person that you're talking to, look at them eye to eye. Secondly, I want you to listen and try to get them to talk more about themselves. Okay. Hey, what would you say? So how you doing? Hey, how you doing? You gotta compliment me early on. You like my tie, do I smell good? What you wanna ask is, do I work around you? And then that'll lead you into what I do professionally for a living. 
Do you work around here? Actually, I do. I work at a law firm. That was very good. You got me to begin to talk about me. You want to give it a try? Yes, I do. Okay, first and most importantly, we got to make sure that you have a business card. Okay, here we go. This is all for you. <laughs> we just took off with a bang. She remembered everything that she needed to know. I had find this guy at the bar. He bought me a drink. He's great, the rapport is going, he's loving her, she's loving him. Until he told me he was married. We went on to the second place. A little slow night, so we decided to go back to the first place. A very handsome guy calls her over. <laughs> he's a dentist and he's single. Hopefully this is Mr. Financially Right. So I was thrilled for her that she kind of tapped into this whole new reality. And hopefully her life will be a little bit different from here on out. I guess this is my miracle. <laughs> well, what do you say? Let's meet Kiyosha today. Kiyosha, come on out. You look see. fabulous. Did yeah. you learn some good tips? Yeah, I did. Really? Tyrone, yeah. And wait, was that you kissing somebody? No, he kissed me on my cheek. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. No drama. All right. Did you meet any millionaires? Oh, well, I met a dentist and uh, um, a lawyer for a firm. And but he and, was married. Though, and Ricky, so. let me tell you something. You can't make this stuff up. That's why I wrote the book because it really does work, and it's exciting. And you know, for Kiyoshi, we really talked a lot about on the limo ride in how she felt about herself. One of the things that she wants to do is she's studying forensic pathology. She's a lady who's going places. She deserves to be with a man who's going places, not someone who can't pay the light bill or the phone bill, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I agree. You want someone who's your equal. Yes. But do or you feel maybe, like it's maybe. manipulating these men? I mean, if there's this, like, formula, no? No, because in my book, the first rule is you have to be honest. You, this is not about manipulating. You don't have to become somebody else. Your goal, if you want to attract a wealthy person, is to be who you are. The next thing that we're going to do is put you in a place where there are a lot of wealthy people. Na nature will take its course from there. Right. Well, good luck to you, Kiyosha. I Thank hope you. it works out Thank for you. You, you look much. terrific. Thank you, Tyrone. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Tyrone. Up next, a man who says he is afraid his friend's expensive tastes and taste for using men to satisfy them is actually becoming dangerous. We'll be back.